Big news coming in. Libya has dismissed the foreign minister, Najla Mangush. Mangush, currently in Turkey, has been dismissed by the prime minister following her recent meeting with her Israeli counterpart. And now an Israeli official says the meeting was pre-planned. According to a report by Reuters, an Italian-hosted meeting between the Israeli Foreign Minister Eli Cohen and Mangush was agreed upon in advance at the highest levels. And the official also said that the meeting lasted for more than an hour. More than an hour. The meeting prompted protests on the streets of several Libyan cities and led to the Libyan Prime Minister issuing the temporary suspension. Wallahi <laughs> أنا طبعا نحن ضد التطبيع الحقيقة اليهود هذونا أعداء يعني ومشردين شعب فلسطين وناس يعني يعاملوا في الفلسطينيين بلا رحمة ولا حتى جزء من الحق ما يعطوش بيهم فيه ونشرب التقابل هذا مع سرائيل والاجتماع مع سرائيل وخاصة إذا كان تمت التطبيع وإذا كان اللقاء هذا صحيح وما هوش تركيب وكذا حقيقة والله لا يقبل أبدا خاصة من الليبيين نحن مع الشعب الفلسطيني قلبا وقالبا ولن نسمح بأن تحتل ليبيا من أي دولة في العالم من إسرائيل أو غير إسرائيل نحن شعب ليبيا نحن شعب حر ما نسمحوش بكلام هذا مهما كان في أي لحظة في أي وقت نحن مع الشعب قضية الشعب الفلسطيني شعب الفلسطيني شعبنا وشعب عربي ويهمنا أكثر مما تتصور Najla Mangush is also set to undergo an administrative investigation by a justice minister chaired commission. According to reports, the meeting between the two foreign ministers was facilitated by the Italian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Antonio Tajani. Israel's Foreign Minister, Eli Cohen, also said in a statement, I'm quoting, I spoke with the foreign minister about the great potential for the two countries from their relations. Quote, unquote. And shortly after this, the Libyan Foreign Ministry issued a statement saying that the interaction did not include any discussions, agreements or consultations. Adding that the Foreign Minister renewed Libya's complete and absolute rejection of normalization of ties with Israel. Libya has always denied any diplomatic relations with Israel and one of the main reasons for Libya's antagonism towards Israel has been its support for the Palestinian cause. Like several other North African countries, Libya has a rich Jewish heritage. But during decades of rule by the former Libyan leader, Muammar Gaddafi, who was a strong supporter of the Palestinian cause, thousands of Jews were expelled from Libya and many synagogues or Jewish temples were destroyed. Gaddafi was overthrown and killed in 2011 by a NATO-backed uprising. And even now, the country is split politically among rival administrations being at the Tripoli government in the West and another in the East, backed by the military strongman Khalifa Haftar. Even though Israel has normalized ties with some Arab countries in recent years as part of US-backed deals known as the Abraham Accords, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's hardline government has time and again come under intense criticism from the Arab states. And that is because of the surging violence in the West Bank and for the backing and for backing the expansion of Jewish settlements in the territory. Meanwhile, angry protesters have taken to the streets of Al Zawiyah to protest against the meeting. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.